Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we continue our play along for the Tour de France 2018 stage 15. Yes, yesterday's stage got rudely interrupted. Uh, the game crashed and then I forgot to hit record button again after the game uh, was started up again. That was bad, but uh, we did pretty well. If I can show you here, let's see. Yes, uh, the SKP has got through. Those bastards, once again, no one wanted to chase in this, uh, well, before here, and in this last segment, all my helpers were so dead that we couldn't pull it, in, uh, pull it in, and no one else wanted to work. We almost got a little bit of time in the final slope up to the finish. Uh, we had a gap of 15 seconds uh, with Valverde, who attacked, of course, as per usual. But then we were all set to the same time in the finish. Valverde came in first, grabbed another few points for the mountain... For the mountain jersey? No, not for the mountain jersey. For the sprint jersey, where he currently is in third. Not too far off, actually. It's looking pretty good. Maybe you can sneak one in there. Uh, anyway, so today's stage is... Uh, the last mountain stage before the rest day. It's more of a hilly stage really until the final climb but the final climb uh, I mean uh, people will will start chasing downhill and somehow gather up at the bottom once again it's too long and too flat before the finish so it probably will play pretty much like a hilly stage without uh, any bigger surprises but this is a long and steep climb so a lot of things could happen there all right let's get into it the final week of the 105th Tour de France starts in Milo. This 15th stage will take the peloton over medium mountain terrain for a finish in Carcassonne. The 181 km route offers a golden opportunity to the Barudeurs, who will no doubt pack the early breakaway. Any sprinter who can climb will also want to be in on the act. The key to the stage seems to be the Pic de Nord, even though its summit lies more than 40 km from the finish. From the top, it's basically downhill all the way to the finish. And so candidates for a stage win will want to have eliminated any rider who can sprint before they reach the summit. Okay, and we're off. That is certainly an interesting stage. Like he said, the commentator, yeah, it is very, very far to the finish. 40 kilometers. And uh, that also means that, well, this final bit is basically half flat and that's another 20k that's way too long to go alone a bit of a nervous start everyone started sprinting all of a sudden and now we're in a in another mountain i don't think they want the escapees to get away oh we could barely follow what is this what is going on they are still chasing the escapees this is crazy instead of just controlling it they could yeah, I mean, it could just control the distance, but no. <laughs> they decide on chasing them down like crazy. And everyone is falling over. Wow. Yes. It has cost a lot of energy already. Alright, have they slowed down just slightly? Maybe. Yeah, it seems like it. <sighs> Finally. Wow, what a chase. And then now they just continue riding like crazies. Up that slope, everyone in the field is dying. What is going on? Crazy stage. The peloton is down to 26, tw stand corrected, 22 riders. And all for, wh who is up front there? Isn't it? Oh, it's Yates. That bastard. Like, nah, I'm going to ride. Me, 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 me. <laughs> and everyone behind him is dying. Uh Maybe they should just rely on the doping test and the finish. Ah, uh, yeah, if he wins. And now they are riding so slow. That, oh my god, so much wasted energy. Oh, what a shame. What is going on? This is ridiculous. Is no one interested in chasing Yates? Just slightly, just like have someone who pedals? And now up the hill they are going like crazy once again. <laughs> oh no. Oh, another attack. Tim Valens is going. Tim oh no. 
Oh my god. What a stage. What is going on? And Peter Sagan is still here. Oh no, so you might be able to grab quite a few sprint points as well. Well, well Werder needs to try anyway. Oh, wow. Peter Sagan is attacking. Yeah, it's Martin, Uran, Isakir and Wellens. They're all attacking. Oh shit, what's going on? All right, let's let's rail them in. This is too ridiculous. There's the sprint coming up too. 1.3 kilometers left. Uh, I think Valverde needs to sprint. So go like this and ah, what? Why? Why can't you sprint? There now. Okay. Whew. That was weird. So we're back to 51 seconds on them. 51 seconds behind. And now we move into the climb. We've caught them. Uh, yeah, most of them. Who's still in front? Dan Martin. All right. Well, he has the mountain rating to uh, pull that off. Now they're just not riding hard enough. 220. And just stopped leading. Is it? Will it be enough for us to chase him down in the flat? Uh, maybe. But I mean, our guy can do a little bit of lead work. 65. Should be good enough. Uh, should keep it from growing too much. Yeah, that keeps it about constant. Can go a little harder. 70. Ah, uh, people are starting to drop off. Only 28 riders left in this group. And with how reluctant they are to chase, I maybe should just give it a try and try to escape on the... Uh, exactly on the peak. Uh, let me uh, set that up real quick. So that would be... Quintana and Valverde trying to go together. And behind them... Soler. Yes, that's good. He can act as a buffer. And it's 2.1 kilometers left to the summit. Oh, but this is looking so good. Tom Dumoulin is there. Would he follow? Because right now we have... Oh, there's Froome. Froome is over there. Port is there. Everyone is there just watching. So if we put him there and Valverde is doing some lead work like at 80. Something like this. Can we now do an attack? Let's try it. Let's try to hang in there. And you guys, just stop. Alright. Let's go. Yes, yes, we are away. Okay. Come on. Do uh, both of you do lead work at 99. Oh yes, oh yes, across. And now we have Dan Martin to contend with, but uh, I mean... Who, who cares, right? Let's see if they're chasing. Dumoulin is chasing. And Port, yeah, yeah, I would assume that they do. We do have a bit of a gap. 24 seconds. 25, so it's growing slightly. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Adam Yates has fallen. There, there was a fall over there. But there was behind me. Okay. So we have 28 seconds, but this is not really sustainable, is it? Just 21 seconds. Yeah, this is not looking good. This is definitely not looking good. And Peter Sagan is even in here. Are you kidding me? How did he survive that mountain? Crazy stuff. My god. And Dumoulin has to do all the chase work. No, no, they, they still have a few helpers. And they're closing the gap. They really are closing the gap. I don't think we can uh, can do this for any longer. It does make very little sense right now. So let's slow down. 75. We haven't lost that much energy. Oh, now everyone has slowed right down. And there... Someone is attacking. 16 kilometers left. Uh, I think... Who is going to chase him, right? Who is going to chase him? Maybe he has to. Let's go 80 or something. Ah, oh, no. Peter Sagan is also at... 
And Dan Martin. Can Those fucking assholes! Come on, stop it! Stop it! I have 30 seconds now. 34. I don't think they will be... Yeah, they're indecisive on the lead work, I guess. Oh, right, they have given up. They have given up. That's good. Hey, they could not decide who's supposed to do the lead work. In that situation, probably Peter Sagan, actually. But, uh, yes. So, uh, we have a sprint situation here where Peter Sagan is in this group and we need some points. Not easy. Not easy. 7.7 .7 kilometers left. And it's time for a bit of a uh, snack, I would say. 5 kilometers left. Although it's going very slowly right now. Very, very slowly. So maybe we should wait a little bit longer than usual. Five kilometers remaining. I have 4 kilometers left. Let's see, maybe we can even uh, place an attack with someone. How about Valverde? Although that, that would be decisive to end his chances if it doesn't work. Hmm. He does have enough resistance, of course. But he's not in a good spot. Let's see. Can we move... Move out? And attack? Quintana? No, you stay behind. Boop. There we go. There he goes. Valverde and he's off. And he's off and he has a strong attack. Okay, that could actually work. Let's see what the others are doing. Dumoulin is chasing. 12 seconds, 13 seconds. We're hearing over the radio. The yeah, 16 seconds. This is good. There goes the this is good. Come on. And then you need to go... Oh, well, 99. It's all sprint from here. 25! Holy shit. I think they have decided to uh, not do anything about this because they can't stop him. Yeah, yeah, they're indecisive. Valverde will take this. Come on, go, go, go! Dumoulin has to chase alone. Oh, there's Peter Sagan. He's trying to... Oh, oh, he has a massive sprint coming. Uh oh Valverde! No! No! Go across the line! A yes! Bam! Whoa, that was a massive sprint from him. Holy shit. Almost gave me a heart attack there, Peter Sagan. Come on. There. Valverde is struggling. And there comes the rocket. <laughs> oh, full overdrive. Let's see if we got some time here. I really hope we did. Otherwise, I have to fucking kill the game. Ah, oh, what the hell? That was good time we got there on everyone else. That was like 20 seconds. But no. No, it's a big middle finger to us again. Now we're 28 seconds behind Tom Dumoulin. And this is the next stage. And it looks... Oh my god, it looks really brutal. Those climbs? Hell yeah. There's no flat towards the end, so whoever is on top first will probably win. But before they attack this stage, there is a rest day. A well-deserved one once again. And... I see you guys next time. <laughs>